ahead and open this part that you hopefully made the other day. We are going to dimension it. If you have it open, then we can go to this plus sign down here and we can create a drawing. And we can look at the templates. If you go here and the ANSI templates, ANSI is the standard that we use um, for dimensioning. And the ABC is just like the size or the, the different ways they do the um, title block. So we are going to select this inch and then A. And you see millimeter ones too. And I wonder how we can pull it less. No, it won't. Hmm. That'd be nice if it would just automatically do those four views for us. Okay, so just select the A one. All right, and so you have, you see if you zoom in here, these tolerances, remember talking about that. Um, so it gives the general tolerances there. It has your name filled in. Um, says the size, so that's what, like I said, the A is the size. Um, okay, and then we can place, select that part, and we can do our, our views. So we want to do the front view, top view, And, and then we can go over here to projected view up here at the top. And you can click this. You want to project that view. Oh. Or not. Maybe we need to go to insert view. Okay. Leo, yeah, let's do that. Insert view. That was my mistake. And we want to insert the right side. Try and line it up with. We want to insert, whoops, isometric. Okay. Same thing um, as an inventor, you can right click on this and we want to show the shaded view. Now up here you can see, then I was trying to do the projected, that didn't work, auxiliary view, remember that's for an inclined plane. Um, you can do a section view to cut the part in half. Um, another type of section view, detail view, remember that zooms in on small features. This is for longer parts. You can crop, dimension. If you click the drop down there and next to that, we can do lots of different type dimensions. Um, ordinate dimension, which I believe is similar to chain dimensioning and labeling holes. And then baseline dimensioning is also called datum. And then you can add tolerances. And an, one nice feature about Onshape is if you hover over these long enough, it tells you what you need to do. Um, so like with this one, it says sketch a closed profile or select a closed profile, choose an end condition, and define the depth. So you're like, it needs three conditions for that one. We're just going to just dimension this um, the typical way we would. So remember you always want the overall width. Okay. And then we want the overall height. I usually drag those farthest away because then you'll put the other dimensions um, inside of these. Then we want the overall depth. So now remember depth can be up here or over here. 
my do depth up here. Okay. And so then once you have those overall dimensions, you just need to add other dimensions. Now for the width, really the only other thing I need to know is this piece here. And for the height, I need this one. I also need this one. Now I like to, um, I'm going to hit escape really quick and just fix these here. So remember you need to um, hit escape to get out of the command and then you can, you can drag these a little bit farther away. I just want the 0.5. Okay. Um, so I'm kind of doing baseline dimensioning. That's always kind of been my preferred method. And if you remember when I talked about uh, dimensioning, like if we're talking about tolerances, this um, baseline leaves the um, gives the least amount of uh, room for air, like error or variation in your parts. So that's kind of why the baseline is nicer. All right, um, so then I'm going to go back up here and select dimension again. And then I'm going to do the depth. So now for the depth, I need this one. And I need this one. I think that's all I need because this 0.5 would correspond to the 0.5 here. We know this is one and I could figure out that that is one because this is two. So I think that's all we need. All right, um, go ahead and uh, take a screenshot of this then and, and share it with me.